hello good day everyone welcome to the first ever vlog for differential calculus we are now going to discuss the derivatives of of different examples Hello. So again, we are going to equate y is equals to x plus 1 raised to the third power minus x raised to 3. So we are going to determine the derivative. Let's say that is y prime or dy dx. y prime will be equal to 3 multiplied by x plus 1 raised to the second power minus 3 x raised to the second power. Take note that if you are going to determine the derivative, the derivative of x, say for example, you have x squared or x to the n, the derivative of x to the n will be y prime is equals to n times x raised to the n minus 1. So that's basically what we did with x plus 3 raised to the third power, wherein you have 2 will be the exponent of the quantity x plus 1, and we bring down the exponent 3 as the numerical coefficient for x plus 1. And then for x cubed, we use 3 as the numerical coefficient. And then you have x. This time, it will be raised to n minus 1. And that is equals to 2. Now you would notice that x plus 1 is raised to the second power. So we can express x plus 1 raised to the second power into perfect square trinomial. That would give us y prime is equals to 3 times x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus 3x squared. And if we are going to distribute this numerical coefficient to the three terms inside the parentheses, we would have y prime is equals to 3 x squared plus 6 x plus 3 minus 3 x squared. And we are going to further evaluate y prime. y prime will be equal to 3 x minus 3x because you have the same value here, you can cancel this out. And that would give us a value 
6x plus 3. So our answer to the question, what is the derivative with respect to x of the quantity x plus 1 raised to the third power minus x raised to the third power will be 6x plus 3. So this is the first derivative of that particular equation or function. 